We're going to talk about organ systems now, and I want to actually start with a learning check. We just talked about organization and levels of organization. So with that in mind, could you tell me the answer to these two questions? So the heart is what? It contains multiple tissue types. And the blank includes the heart and blood vessels. Okay, so answer those, put them in your homework, ask questions if you have them. Let's talk about these organ systems and go, go through them. We are going to cover some of these organ systems in detail this semester, others in 312, so second semester. So first, one we'll be talking about much more in detail are integumentary, skeletal, muscular, nervous, Endocrine is some, we'll do some this semester, some next semester. Um, actually, that, that's this semester. So this, this left half is, is gonna be this semester. Um, I'll briefly define these, and I wanted to define these as well, so you have an idea of what all these organ systems do. So integumentary, and again, we're gonna talk about all of these ones um, much, much more detail. So integument, integumentary, is um, basically your skin. That's the biggest part of it, skin, hair, and nails. It's protection against the environmental hazards um, and control body temperature. It's gonna protect for protection, because again, we're gonna do this again. I'm gonna do some different colors here just to, to mix this up. Skeletal is support, protection, actually, of your like brain and lungs and heart. Um, movement, and there's some other um, other functions, storing minerals, forming blood, etc. We've got muscular movement, right? So along with the skeletal system, allowing for movement, um, also support generating heat as well. Nervous system and endocrine have similar functions in that they both are regulation and control, directing body system. Um, nervous system is going to be a little quicker. Endocrine takes a little longer to do that. And we'll talk more about each of those. Cardiovascular. This is your heart and blood vessels. And this is going to be transport, the transport of nutrients, wastes, gases in the bloodstream throughout the whole body. Lymphatic is also a transport system. So lymph is the fluid here. So we're going to have transport, um, returning fluid to the bloodstream as well as fight infections. So the immune system is um, somewhat synonymous with the lymphatic system. Respiratory, gas exchange, right? So exchange gases with, with who? With the environment. So carbon dioxide and oxygen, what our body needs, um, exchange that with the external environment. Digestive system, obtain nutrients, right? Um, take in food, process the food, um, and absorbing the food. So take in and absorb food. Nutrients, really, um, carbohydrates, fats, protein, vitamins, etc. Urinary is a waste excretion system. So removing waste, also water, which isn't really a waste, but we want to be able to, to remove it as needed. Um, controls pH, so acid. Base balance, 
Um, this also has been really important for regulating blood pressure because that water piece, and this will be a big topic in the spring. And lastly, reproductive, obviously to reproduce. So um, that's another way of saying that is to make, um, well, produce, produce gametes, sex cells to form new offspring and infertilize for reproduction. And the reproductive systems actually have to like put a lot of effort into making special cells and doing lots of special stuff. So that's an overview of the organ system. And then something I mentioned before that's really important is they um, each have carry out this process, right? The process is listed here, maybe more than one process. Um, based on the organs that they contain, but they also work together. So I want to give you a concrete example of that, of the integration. Uh, here that is. There's this picture here. So here's an example of the integration of organ systems communicating with each other. Um, when one changes, it affects another one, and they are working together to maintain homeostasis in changing environments. So this is um, just showing literally the physical interaction. So food comes in the digestive system, is absorbed into the bloodstream. The bloodstream is necessary for those nutrients to get to the rest of the body. That wasn't for the, the bloodstream, the cardiovascular system, the heart and blood vessels, the body would die because you can't get the nutrients anywhere else. Same with the heart, um, same with carbon dioxide and oxygen the cardiovascular system, it needs to transport those around. Um, without the respiratory system, you can't have metabolic functions that require oxygen, which humans need. And you're also going to die because you um, can't get rid of carbon dioxide and you would, would die. Um, pH balance would be off. You need the urinary system to get rid of excess fluid, regulate blood pressure, um, a waste disposal, in addition to, of course, the digestive system also gets rid of waste. So blood pressure is one example of something that's regulated by all of these components. Um, the fluid volume the, and therefore pressure in your blood vessels, blood vessels, that is a very important thing to maintain. An adequate amount of pressure um, so you don't faint, so you have blood getting to your brain. The heart is obviously important for that, and the blood vessels themselves, the cardiovascular system is really important for blood pressure, but so is the urinary system, right? So the amount of fluid that is, is excreted is going to influence blood pressure. The amount of fluid taken in, so water that you drink, how much that water is absorbed by your digestive tract into the bloodstream is gonna affect blood pressure. And then the endocrine system, as well as nervous system some, but endocrine's a big one, that also can very much regulate all these organ systems to regulate blood pressure. Um, when one of these systems changes, the other one often has to adapt and adjust and compensate. And um, that's part of what's pretty cool about our organ systems communicating and working together. We'll see some examples of that. Okay. Learning check number two, um, I've got some processes that are needed here in your body. I'd like you to write a description of, of what each of these is, so a little bit more than what I have here. And then what organ system or organ system, which I should have there, are responsible, is or are responsible for these processes. 